Hi, my name is Denise McCabe and I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator in Australia on the New South Wales Central Coast and this is my card in the cover for, what are we up to, Wednesday the 21st of August. Now please tell me if I have sound. I had a sound issue for my Makeup Monday. According to my OBS system, I have sound. So let me know if I have sound. I'd really like to know. <laughs> Um, so let me just make sure I've gone line, live in the right place. That's not what I wanted to do. Let me just see if I can fix this up. Just bear with me a minute. <laughs> Technology. It's such a wonderful thing, isn't it? Okay. You have sound. Yay. Thanks, Lynette. <laughs> Thank you for telling me that. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Couldn't believe my Monday video. Um, I'd recorded it. It took about 50 minutes. And then when I went to um, edit it in the iMovie, there was no sound. And I thought, <laughs> not doing it again. <laughs> anyway, that's gone. That's passed. So, today we're going to play with some, um, a card. we're going to make a card with no stamping. I'm in a team that had this for a challenge this month and it's it's really hard but we've got lots of products that we can use to do a no stamping card so let's get down to our craft desk and we can start. I'll put my lamp on at the same time. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's right. Looks right to me. <laughs> okay, alright so this was the one I put in, I'll take it out of the bag because then you'll be able to see it better. This is the one I entered in the chat team challenge for the no stamping card. I used scraps of um, cardstock that I'd done in a, a previous video using shaving cream technique. So I just cut little strips of scraps up um, and stuck it to a black, basic black card mat. Now this isn't stamped, this is the Thoughtful Moments hy Hybrid Embossing Folder. And yeah, so that's no stamping. There is ink, but there's no stamping. So that was my card for our team challenge. And I had a little play yesterday using scraps from my scrap... Hi Marilyn, thanks for joining. Um, from my scrap box, so let me just find my scrap box. I'm in the process of making samples from the new mini catalogue that come that's coming so on a previous video I made an easel card and I had these circles left over that I'd cut out and you know and quite often I'll have a punched image of designer series paper it's paper so I went through my little scrap box and this is my die cut box and this is where I've got some of these um now where is it? Here. Some of these sentiments from the Thoughtful Moments Hybrid Embossing Folder. So there's another one. And some more. So I went through my scraps and I thought, let's see what we can do. And in the annual catalogue, there's ephemera packs. Hi, Margaret. Now these are at the beginning of the catalogue. And there's lots of die cuts that you can use. The packs are $14.00. So this one's the Fully Flowering ephemera, ephemera Pack, and this one is saying something Ephemera Pack. So it's got all sorts of sentiments. I'll move that one out of the way. <clears throat> so yeah, sent lots of sentiments, and you'll be pleased to know, if you're like a beginner card maker, there are some of these Ephemera Packs coming in the new mini catalogue, the holiday catalogue, that are Christmassy. So that's good because you can make a whole lot of cards quickly. So these are all the sentiments. So for this one, I just used one of my scraps, my scrap circle dies, and I did some matting. I used the eyelet embossing folder. I used one of the flowers from the flower, fully flowering ephemera pack, and I used a sentiment from here. Let me see if I can find it. Down here. So, there is no stamping on this card, but it still looks quite pretty. <laughs> now, 
So I thought we'd do something similar again because I had some more scraps using the ephemera packs. So let me... Anything I don't like about these ephemera packs is they, they start falling out and then you don't want to lose anything and you don't want them getting scrunched up. So that's why we have a sandwich bag. <laughs> because we can put them into the sandwich bag and not lose. So we'll put those to one side. I'm going to use my um, Distress Tile 3... Hi Cheryl! Distress Tile 3D Embossing Folder. So, so this is our No Stamping Card. So once again, I've, from my scrap box, I've got a die cut circle, partial circle. That was from the previous project. I'm just going to get a little bits out. Except they're not wanting to come out because there's a few layers of cardstock and paper. So they're just being a bit stubborn. Very stubborn. How nice is the weather? Hi Lynn! How nice is the weather today? Goodness gracious. But I'm sure it's just lulling us into a false sense of security. I'm sure we'll have another little cold snap before winter is gone. But um, Rosie and I went over to Terrigal this morning and had a coffee and just a nice sit in the sun and a walk. Sometimes it's nice to mix up our walking routine <laughs> rather than just do the, doing it all around the local area. I like to go somewhere else and have a change of scenery. So beautiful. <laughs> they, these are the days I love too, Margaret. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. <laughs> I don't want a really hot summer like last summer. But then I don't want the colder winter. Maybe I'm just hard to please. As I'm getting older, I think I'm becoming harder to please <laughs> with the weather. Okay. So don't forget about... I'm just, don't know, I don't want all these bits falling anywhere. Um, don't forget about our designer series paper sale. That's still going until the 31st of August. 15% off all the annual catalogue paper. Um... Excluding specialty paper and colour family papers. Okay, so this time round, because this piece of, this is Thoughtful Journey Designer Series paper. <laughs> Just like three bears. Yeah, I thought that as I was saying in Margaret. <laughs> but I thought, oh, I won't go there. <laughs> might look silly. <laughs> but that's okay. I can look silly with everybody else. <laughs> um, so this is the Thoughtful Journey Designer Series paper. I love this 6x6 paper. I was playing with this yesterday. And um, I just love it. Really do love it. So, so in this paper, there's Peach Pie and Pool Party. So, and that was Thoughtful Journey paper as well. So I teamed that up with um, Petunia Pop and Pool Party. So I am going to lift my... Um, cut emboss machine over and we will just run this through <laughs> thank you Margaret <laughs> I do like the distress tile emboss folder it's one of my favorites at the moment but I do like the eyelet one as well down there so when we're doing a 3d embossing folder we just need plate one and not this one and our specialty plate plate number four so i'll pop my cardstock in and i'm going to just line that up run it through i love dry embossing I think dry embossing and heat embossing were my real wow moments with um, card making, paper craft. I love them. Okay. <coughs> yes, great minds think alike. That's exactly right. Okay, let's get this back in here. So, this one, 
is beautiful. I do have a lady that doesn't like this distress, or doesn't like the way, the dis I suppose it's the distressed side of things. <laughs> um, she says she doesn't like the way that there are blank patches. So she would never buy this one. So everyone's got their own thoughts and each to their own. I really love it because it's that antique -y and vintage -y, So I quite like it. So I am going to mat. And now these are two colours I would never put together, but I'm doing it today. I'm going to mat that onto my peach pie. I'm using my Tombow glue. The weather's a little bit warmer and it ran out there just then. <laughs> ran sort of out quite quickly. Okay. I just love what a little bit of dry embossing can do for a card. It can really give it a really lovely finish. So I'm just matting that here. Whoopsie. Just trying to get it straight. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now I've got a piece of thick basic white card. Now I do like tent fold cards as I've told you before. So this is just a piece of oops, a piece of A4 cardstock cut in half at ten and a half centimeters. So if you don't like um tent fold cards, then just cut your A4 the other way at 14.8 or 14.9 centimeters and that will give you this kind of card opening that way this that's a better way of cutting your, your a4 cardstock because sometimes because you can do portrait or landscape whereas i feel this way is not as good when it's landscape just my opinion <laughs> okay so we're going to put that onto our card base i like the way the tent fold cards stand on your shelf of your buffet or bookshelf or wherever your cards get displayed I like the way they do that so I'm just matting that onto our card base as I said I normally would never put peach pie and pool party together but when you've got it looks okay so I am just going to get my paper snips and trim this off because I don't like that and I don't want to take it over there I want that to butt straight up there so just where that goes, probably got this card that this came off. I could probably grab that and show you. Let me just see if I can grab it. Here they are. And they came off this card. See, I took, I took a chunk overhung it and this was my easel card I think this could have been last month's make and create I think <laughs> so that's how that card looked but what I did was I die cut the circle overhung it a little bit and that was my off cut and that was the off cut from this one so you can always reuse your, your off cuts you don't have to get rid of them always find a way of reusing them now this one now these are from the ephemera pack the floral and the what are they called Flower, fully flowering and saying something ephemera pack now I could I'm just trying to work out how I want to do this but I want to put the saying on that as well and the flowers this way hang that over a little bit and the flowers here I think that looks nice and I can put a little bit of twine or something around down here so so this one I put a little bow up the top but you know what I am going to get my linen thread <coughs> I do love my linen thread and I'm going to see I probably won't be able to because I'm to video if I can do a double bow you know how things don't work when you're doing the video. Because 
some ladies can just do this so that didn't work at all let's all oh no hang on no 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 <laughs> let's just go with a single bow because that would be probably more beneficial to <laughs> my stress level there we go there we go so i'm having fun playing with um pro products in the new mini catalog that's coming and i'm trying to sort of get some classes sorted out in my head Okay, we'll leave that there for the moment. Let's start putting this on. Oh, hello, Regina. Regina, is that how you say your name? From Germany. I saw you commenting on something. I didn't realise you were from Germany. Wow. Welcome. That's exciting. Yes, well, Rosie sat on my lap over at the cafe this morning where I had coffee. Qu quite happily sat on my lap. I, I actually was a little bit naughty. I had some banana bread as well. And she was quite happily waiting for little offcuts of the banana bread. <laughs> okay. So I'll pop that there. And I'm going to... Put my happy birthday so it's a no stamping card using the ephemera packs and i'm going to put that like so so i won't put a dimensional there i just want some dimensionals down this side hi joan i think is it regina is that how i say your name i don't want to be mispronouncing it they're very simple cards because they're no stamping cards you have to do down here Let's see, and maybe a little bit of glue up here. Very simple cards. Hi, Rose. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh, hang on. I've just clicked my mouse and something disappeared. I'm excited. How many people are watching today? I wanted to try and work out a way of... um giving away my cards and <laughs> I don't quite know how to do that with videos I'm not quite sure how to achieve that I know some people um, give away their cards and I don't know how to do that so if you've got any suggestions because I have so many cards I've got so many cards in my stash <laughs> I'm gonna put together a whole lot and take them to some local nursing homes um in a, well next week i think because i want to get make sure they've got them before father's day um yeah so if somebody's got an idea i thought oh maybe that would be nice to get, give them away to people who watch my videos so maybe if you share my video what do you think the Facebook ones if you share them and comment shared because I can't tell who shared them comment shared the first one who does that I can maybe send my send this card to what do you think of that does that sound like a good idea okay so this is a linen thread bow which I shall just chop now I do something with my linen thread I get a glue dot to start with <laughs> okay <clears throat> now with the glue dot I just turn it over I roll it over a little bit I'll show you the card also that didn't the video <laughs> didn't work for me I'll make it again I'll make it as a Christmas card <laughs> when I video it next. Okay, so I roll that glue dot in half to try and make it not as, you know, excessive. I'm going to put that on my little flowers. Now what I also do with my linen thread is I hold it up here. Hope you can see. Shared. <laughs> well, you're gonna. We're gonna have to find out your address, Gina. Regina. So I can um 
send you this card okay so now I just get my little pokey tool and I just fray it and I do this with my linen thread because I really like the way it looks <laughs> except now I can't just I'm just having struggles getting my my pokey tool to to work for me okay let's start down the line I hold my bow because sometimes when you fraying your linen thread it can pull your, your bow loops undone and we don't want that not when we've got our bow working and secure there we go I just think I just think the frayed linen thread let's just do it a little bit more I can hear some school kids coming obviously walking home from school over at the park today I've even got my window open can you believe that there we go so you can trim that down if you don't want your tail that long let's do that trim them down a little bit and how simple is that card? sorry I was holding it up too high how simple is that card and there's no stamping on it and there was no stamping on this one either <laughs> and there was no stamping on this one for my the team challenge um, as I said this was just scraps of cardstock that I'd done the shaving cream technique on and there's ink but there's no stamping <laughs> okay so that's our card for today no stamping beautiful papers don't forget the papers are on sale now this was the card on Monday that <laughs> I made and I had no volume, no sound working on my OBS uh, streaming platform. OBS stands for Online Broadcasting System. Um, some people use StreamYard and other, other systems, but yeah. Sometimes when the OBS system doesn't update, it changes my settings and if I'm not looking properly I don't realize that my microphone's not working so this was the card I made on Monday so it's called a concertina pocket fold card I will make it again I will do a video I promise um, but yeah I've got to just think about it before I do it again and it opens up like so so this is using the Mediterranean blooms um, <laughs> that you're welcome Lynn <laughs> thanks Regina um, this is the, using the Mediterranean Blooms designer series paper and it reminded me of our trip to Italy last year um, to Sorrento and Positano, the Amalfi Coast loved it, one of my most favourite places and their tags, I did use the retired tail, tailored made, made tags and some retired ribbon but yeah, I will do it on a video, I promise but that was Monday's card that didn't work. The video didn't work. <laughs> so I gave all the measurements and step-by-step oh, -step instructions. So it was just going to be too hard to try and do a voiceover. So instead, I had, had a glass of wine <laughs> on Sunday night and sat down and thought, no video. No video this Monday. No video. <laughs> okay. So... Regina, if you would like to message me um, and send me your address, I will send you this card in the mail. So if you want to do that, let you know, just e email me. My email is denisemccabe at gmail.com. So you can find my email up at my blog, stamping, oh, hang on, stampingpassion.blogspot.com. You can email me your address and I will post this card to you in Germany if you wish. So let's go back. Yeah. So thank you for watching ladies. So that's our no stamping card for today. So have a look through your scraps, your die cuts, when you die cut something out can actually make a card look really stunning and it's really fun. It's really fun to do. So thank you for watching ladies. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the week. I don't know what the weather here in Australia is going to do for the rest of the week. 
but while it's a little bit warmer we will enjoy <laughs> thank you Lynette thank you ladies for watching and I will see you next Monday with my microphone working <laughs> for my Makeup Monday video on YouTube. Bye for now.